is squirrel with a gun worth twenty dollars hey guys my name is young noodle and today i'm going to be talking to you about whether or not i think squirrel with a gun is worth the price tag put on it now right now i believe it sits on steam with a 1999 price tag and at the moment of releasing this video um it has a 10 percent off tag for its first week of release so it's around 17.99 us or something like that and uh i'm gonna be basically talking to you about whether or not i think the game is worth it or whether it's uh gimmick or a cash grab or an asset flip or whatever you want to call it and uh whether or not this entices you to pick it up so i recently beat the game and uh total play time for me with collecting all the acorns that they have as which is a collectible in the game um it took me around eight hours and that's not getting all the achievements that's just a normal playthrough and everything like that and um yeah around seven to eight hours was the full play time for me and um honestly i think the game was worth it um there is a lot of similarities and the number one game that i can compare this to is goat simulator the physics and everything like that are very very similar to goat simulator and the type of humor and uh everything but the one thing that i wanted to basically mention that is a big big thing comparing this to goat simulator is that it doesn't have the frustration of the physics with goat simulator a lot of the stuff in Squirrel with a Gun is very polished and the physics are, I, I want to say still broken to an extent that it's fun, but it's not broken to the point that it's frustrating. There was no point in the game that made me want to stop playing or just annoyed because I had to get lucky and get to a point in the level. Um, everything was very well thought out and crafted with the physics of the game, so which was pretty cool. And it overall wasn't a gimmick. It has its own style. It has its own kind of... Um, feel to it that makes you want to play the game and it's it's pretty fun whether you go through the whole story or you're just messing around in it and everything um i thought that it was very fun and uh there are a couple complaints that i had with the game um the number one thing that you'll see in a clip here is the uh soundtrack that loops uh through most of the game um it doesn't change for most of it and uh, you are listening to the same thing over and over and over again for that entire seven to eight hours. So at the one point, I just turned it off. So, uh, yeah, but otherwise, um, the weapons, the vehicles, the physics, all the little puzzles and stuff, they're all different, which was cool. Everything was refreshing and the new areas are completely different. There's all little Easter eggs, um, and it just feels fresh and well thought out and it, it, it had its own kind of style, which was nice. Um, and the humor was pretty funny. The jokes were pretty good in the game. It wasn't cringy or anything like that. I had a lot of fun playing with this. There was even collectible cosmetics. You aren't forced to get all the acorns and stuff like that, which is the collectible in the game that I mentioned earlier. Um, there isn't anything really uh, pushing you in any direction to play. If you get stuck in an area, you could just go to another area and get acorns in that area and unlock weapons there and then come back and make things easier for yourself. So you're not like forced to do things that you don't want to do to progress. Um, and eventually, once you get enough acorns, uh, there is basically this end level and um i won't say any spoilers but there are boss fights in the game and uh, the boss fights are really cool too but they were pretty funny they had their own pretty good jokes and good little moments and stuff like that and the boss fights were different enough to the point that like it wasn't repetitive um the other complaint that i would have with the game though is if you do miss certain collectibles in the boss areas uh unless i was doing something wrong but uh, you do have to fight the bosses again in order to open up those areas and collect what was there and what you missed. Like, for example, um, this isn't really a spoiler, so you don't have to worry about that. But at the end credits of the game, 
there is an achievement uh, for basically shooting all the credit names and um, in order to get back to that scenario, if you miss one of the credit names, you do have to do the boss fight again. Um, so that stuff is kind of irritating. There's another area where you have to kill the boss again in order to leave. Um, you can't just reload the checkpoints or anything. At least that's what happened to me. I don't know if that'll be fixed in a like, later patch or anything like that. But otherwise, other than that small stuff and the music and the soundtrack, the actual soundtrack playing in the game other than it being repetitive is really good the main menu music is really cool the boss fight music is really cool they put a lot of work and work and effort into the game itself so um for 20 bucks the amount of playtime and the cool areas and god the, the unreal 5 engine graphics look amazing on this game so it's cool to see a test of like how that technology works and stuff both physics wise and graphics wise so hopefully we see more games like this um, but, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the game. Um, it took around, like I said, seven to eight hours to beat, and, uh, I'm definitely off stream going to be doing the, uh, 100% achievement for the game because I enjoyed it that much. Um, so if you like gameplay like that with collectibles and, like, at least the areas aren't repetitive or anything, um, I definitely recommend picking up the game. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and uh, leave a mention in the comments of any games that you want me to try and uh, review. The next thing that I'm probably going to be doing is the new Space Marine game. And I kind of want to turn this into uh, a little series where I pick up new releases that are uh, popular or unpopular and kind of mention uh, my thoughts on them after I beat them or after I put enough playtime into them that I think that I can give a, an opinion on. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.